The military is rarely the first place that comes to mind when thinking of pastoral ministry. In Ghana, one Seventh-day Adventist pastor has risen to the top rank of chaplaincy in the Army. Colonel Peter started his chaplaincy ministry 20 years ago as a civilian chaplain. He firmly believes that God has been with him every step of the way. He reached the rank of colonel faster than any chaplain before him. I have risen through the ranks from a lieutenant to now a colonel by the grace of God. It is not that I am exceptional. No, 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 no. It is because the Lord has found favor with me and he has given me this appointment. Colonel Peter's position as head of the military chaplains has allowed him to share the gospel with top military personnel, government leaders, and many soldiers in the Ghanaian army. One day, a soldier approached him before leaving for a mission. The soldier showed Colonel Peter his talisman, an object he believed had powers to protect him from harm. Colonel Peter used this opportunity to share the power of Jesus with the young man. Then I told him, ah, this one is no good. I have a better talisman, better one, more powerful. He said, sir, are you sure? I said, yes, I am sure. If I give you that one forever, you'll be protected. And I prayed for him. He came back rejoicing. He said, sir, now I've seen. He's in Africa, we call it Juju. He said, sir, your Juju is powerful. I said, yes, my Juju is powerful because my Juju will never, will never fail you. And so we, we do this so that actually we bring Jesus Christ and the gospel to the doorstep. With the help of Colonel Peter's influence, the Adventist Church received permission to build a church on the military campus. They are one of only a few religions granted this privilege. Recently, the Adventist community came together to celebrate the chaplain's promotion to colonel. After the success of Adventist chaplains in the military, the police force and prisons have created Adventist chaplain positions as well. The police chaplain recently received special permission to start a church service on the police training campus. Initially, we were not recognized. So it was difficult to be seen as an Adventist, gathering people to pray. It was not allowed. By gradually working under them, they saw something good in the, in the, in the Adventist stage. And gradually they allow us to be here. These special opportunities in Ghana's military and police force provide a unique method of influence across the country. The name of the church is high, it's held high in the Ghana Armed Forces. Where I would say Adventist chapel is, oh, we know you. We know you have heard of you. And so by the grace of God, we, we have made great impact. And most of the, the, the soldiers would love to be members of the church. Many soldiers have started coming to the Adventist church on the military grounds because of Colonel Peter's ministry. Please pray for the chaplaincy work in the military, police force, and prisons. God is using unique methods to reach all people with the gospel. Thank you for your support of Mission Around the World.